Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Resonance Arcade. Hi. It ah, is excited. Monday night, and we're back live on Mondays. We haven't we haven't done a Monday for a while. Uh, we've decided we're going to stream our Let's Plays again on Monday. Now my computer is capable of it. So hello and welcome. Um, as you can see, we've got a full team again. Everyone has uh, Lou has decided to turn up this week, and uh, Steve obviously, and and Sam. So for those of you who haven't seen them, here they are. Yep, we've so, all got beards. Yes, we have all kind of got beards. I, I, mine actually, I, I got mine cut on uh, Saturday, so it's it was a bit down here, but I've uh, I've had it trimmed a bit. Oh, just, yeah, Has Sam got a beard. Uh, he doesn't have picture. Sam used Sam oh. was my inspiration for a beard. He grew. He had a big, like bushy. Uh, <laughs> he just looked at Sam and thought, "I want to grow a beard." Yeah, pretty much. And then I looked at Bill Bailey and styled myself on Bill Bailey for some reason. Uh, it was very odd. But yeah, you need to uh, shave the kind of top of your head so you look like a Klingon motivational speaker. Yes, yes, that was, that was the intention. Um, so yes, as you can see, we are playing Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, we're on part 8 of Metal Gear Solid 3, and it is a charity stream. So um, the way that it works, for those of you who haven't uh, been here before, we've got uh, a death counter below us, uh, kind of that, that way, down to the left a little bit. Um, as you can see, I've died 67 times in the entire playthrough. <laughs> We've been playing one, two, and three, so I died thirty times in each of the each one and two. I've died seven times in Metal Gear Solid Three. We're nearly at the end. The bonus ten pound is because I managed to dupe Lou out of um, ten pounds, saying if I can get into this building without being spotted, pl uh, give uh, you, you will you will you donate an extra ten pounds? And he said yes, and then I got in in about you a minute later, two minutes later. Yeah, you bastard. I actually did think I actually thought there was a lot more effort to it because I'm sure the first time I did it, it took me longer, but. It could just because I didn't know where I was going. It's because I, I kind of got confused with it, thinking that like the second time you're thinking to cross the grads a bit harder, and the second time, lo and behold, Chris went on a rampage and killed yeah. everybody. And there was no <laughs> stealth involved. That because that bit is worth pointing out again. If you've got some new viewers with us, um, Chris has played these games and is, is usually very stealthy, but he isn't. Oh, so he claims in this run. It's been it's been nothing short of a massacre. It's been either. it's been nothing short of of, of a complete mess, basically. I, I, it's because you know, I mean, I don't know. Again, how we've we've talked about this a few times. I don't know how other people play stealth games. But say I'm playing Deus Ex, right? Play them stealthily, Chris. No, hang on, hang on. I play them stealthily, but if I've got this quick load and quick save on the PC, most PC titles, and I I, I am a save whore, I'm afraid. If I get seen and I've, I've got a particular objective to get in somewhere without being seen, I'll reload it. And I'll start again. Simple as that. But um, this is the different one. It's on a console. It's a lot harder to quick save, quick load. And two, I'm playing it and streaming it. It's not going to be good watching, is it? If I just so I'm just running. I'm just every time I get shot. I think we're, we're in Grozny Grad now. We're just about to um, maybe fight the Shagahod, possibly. Uh, Going to plant the C3 and then have some cutscenes and some fighting. Uh, before you go in there, do you want to head back out and see if you can get that engineer suit that? I think is in one of the lockers. Just because you can walk in that area uh, basically undisturbed, whereas yeah. you're about to sneak past all the engineers and the guards and shit if you don't have it. I quite like this outfit he's got on, like. Corpse. It is cool. In chat has asked if stealth equals slow, and I guess that's one of the reasons why it's quite hard to play stealthily when you when there's people watching and people talking because you feel like you're holding everyone up. I guess, don't you? You don't really want to be crawling everywhere like I would do in. Like oblivion or whatever I would do as X. Because you sink yeah. hours and hours into basically creeping around everywhere as cautiously as you can. Where, where am I going so for this point. thing, Sam? Where'd you say I'm going for this uniform? Uh, hang on a second. I've just come out of um, that door, but I can't I actually thought, go I, that way. I, I, I thought it was that way. Go back the way you came. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing uh, else. Try going, round, try going round again and uh, past the door into the hangar and see if there's a, it's the other side. Because that's where you went in to have get your head kicked in by Volgin before. Uh, anyway, so getting back to the stealth thing, I think speedrunners can do stealth quickly. In this <laughs> game in particular, and most games where you're not an expert already, then yeah, stealth does equal going slow. I mean... Do speedrunners uh, stealth this game, or do they just leg it through every area? Um, well, it depends on... Set themselves certain targets. Yeah. Some speedrunners will do a, a big boss speedrun, which means they'll run through not kill anybody so they complete all the boss fights non-lethally uh, and never get spotted and have no alerts. Right. So there are people people do different kinds of speed running. I'm not sure which locker it's in by the way, but it's... Oh, I, I got it! Up, Didn't uh, I get it? it? No, 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 it's a, you, the engineer suit. It's like a... Oh, right, yeah. You know, like a set of uh, overalls. 
I, I have seen speedruns for um for Dishonored, and they do things like ghosts oh. and. Uh, Second one. <laughs> So they they do have kind of special types of speedrun in order to to facilitate the the use of stealth because I imagine it would be very easy to speed speedrun these games just by literally legging it through every area. Yeah, that's what speedrunners do. I've watched uh, the only speedrun I've watched of Metal Gear I think is Metal Gear Solid Four, and he basically just knew where where how which direction to take through the levels where he would just avoid the attention of the guards and just did that. That's not a very flattering suit, is it, Chris? I was just going to say that is Shit. that looks. Like, <laughs> I look like a member of Slipknot. All I need is a ski mask. <laughs> a Devo. Oh yeah, Devo. Devo, isn't it Devo? Devo, it's Devo. Devo, you dickhead. <laughs> right. So, is there anything I need to specifically do before I get caught in here? Because I'm going to get caught. That's the first thing I'm going to get. Um, I'm going to do. The only thing you've got to do is go to the fuel tanks and pop the C3 on it. Uh, I think they're all on the lower level, so I don't think they're any upstairs to bother with. I'm already halfway up here now, I might as well see what's up here. I think it's a case of like, the engineers, will, if they get too close to you, they'll they'll alert you. Yeah, Just yeah. give them a bit of a wide berth, but the guards, unless you walk right up to them, should kind of leave you alone. Uh, Although, I... if you came in and saw an engineer looking like this, it's like an engineer with, a, with an eye patch and a bandana on. You'd be like, he's out of the most... Space. He's either the most badass engineer in the history of the world, <laughs> or he's the bad guy that we're supposed to kill. And as an engineer at the place I'm working at the moment, it has a kind of a beard, a bit like, um, a bit like his. Yeah, do the other like people? Do the, the other people start calling him Snake? <laughs> he's like, he's like, no, but I should do. He wears glasses. Maybe I should gouge one of his eyes out with a fork or something. And yeah, do that next time you see him. I'm sure you'll find it funny. How yeah. is that related to him having glasses? I don't know. I don't know. Surely that'd be more of a hindrance to gouging his eyes out. It'd be like uh, armor. So the charity money uh, corpse is going to Child's Play, which is um, I'll put a link into it. Child's Play. One. Charity. Yeah. I actually forgot to mention. I'm just going to pause it because I'll get caught. You know what I'm like. Um, I actually forgot to mention at the beginning. Um, we we've just added a donation link below the chat. What we what we're doing? we if you donate anything during this stream. We'll uh, we'll donate all of that to Child's Play along with the along with the sixty seven plus ten pounds so far um, from Lou. If you donate anything this time, it'll go to Child's Play. But when we will take donations during our other shows as well, and that's to go towards prizes and things like that. We'll eventually get together and you know get loot crates or sponsorship or something. I don't know. We, we we'll figure that out at a later we'll date. Work, yeah, we'll work something yeah. We're not using it to pay ourselves or anything. There's no no incentive there. I think. Oh, I'm just gonna turn up in mink courts <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That would be funny. So what are you the engine thing is it just behind you? It's a black oblong thing to the uh, there, there you go. So with no one looking, pop some C three on that bad boy. And then uh, I'm, it might do that annoying thing the Metal Gear seems to do when you do it, and it's like, ring, 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 ring. I see you've planted the C3, only three more to go. And you're like, yeah, I yeah, know. No. <laughs> how did they see that? How, how did they actually know oh, what he's doing? Oh, God damn it. Because, because, <clears throat> like, that's how. I just, I just realised, you know, I used to, I was getting caught a lot, like, early on in the games. I'm not doing it as much now, but I could hear the guy go, huh, then? Because I've turned the volume up a little bit, but before it was re way too quiet. So that's one of my another excuse for uh, for me getting <laughs> yeah, me yeah. being rubbish at this game. When, was was this sort of showed a vague interest? It's like move away, get away from them. Like this engineer guy is probably going to go, huh? Come up to you if, if he sees you. Does the same thing happen as with the scientists, where that if an engineer comes up close to you, they can spot you? I yep. believe so. Yeah. Right. Like they're they're suspicious of him straight away if they see him. Got, can you, I don't know if you can equip your weapons in this outfit. You can't equip the tranquilizer gun, can you? No, but I can equip the C3, so that'll do. I oh, don't. No, you can. E oh no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Just if one of these engineers is just there forever, and you're just like, come on, mate. Got C3 to plant here, and you're in my way. It'd be nice if we could use a cigarette, and people weren't like suspicious of the fact that you're walking around explosive fuel with a cigarette. Uh, maybe you can use a cigarette. Well, it's the 1960s, they were cool with that shit in those days. <laughs> <laughs> and not around this field, which is clearly like some kind of horrible <laughs> napalm. 
I hope that was in a good place there. It, it did it on the floor. Ah, oh, it'd be fine. It's, it's, it'll blow it up, I'm sure. I've got a feeling if you, you know, if you sort of stealth up to it, as in put your back against it, then do it, you'll flick it onto it, nice and neat. Or, no, oh, maybe not. You're not putting it in the right place, Snake. <laughs> not on the floor, you idiot. <laughs> I finished planting the bomb on the rail bridge. If we get rid of this, means I've done something right because it's advanced the story. At least buy us some time. I've also set yeah. up the escape route. How are things going on your end? I just finished planting the second charge. Give me a little more time. Okay. I'll be yeah, waiting God. for you at the bridge. She's just showing up anyway. She's already finished her job. But she needs one bomb to plant. Yeah. On a, probably a big bridge one, outside, yeah. When you see where the bombs are planted, probably her job's actually more difficult than Snake's. Yeah, but she had a motorbike up there. I bet she just flew up there on a motorbike. Shit, which button is it again? Is it square? <laughs> I don't want to set them off. To plant it, yeah, it should be. Oh, there you go. Back up on it. There you go. Yeah, sort of Stealth up against it, you back up against it, you press against it, whatever. Ah, the beeping, flashing bomb drop. Yep. Well, if you noticed how uh, any time there's a computer or uh, a clock, any clock that's in a film ticks and makes a noise as it ticks. Do you remember the second. one in Commando? How loud yeah, that one was. Yeah. Yeah, he looks at his watch he's like, That's See, the thing is, I I, I like that Commando's got stuff like that in it. The fact that it's got every, like, shit thing in it makes it amazing. <laughs> right, where's the fourth one? I don't remember. It must be up the top, because that's... I just saw... I just had to run away because there was an, an engineer up there, but... Uh, so there's one there. Is there one down to the right of the room? That over there? Yeah, in that right hand corner. I, I got that one. There's, there's, Didn't I? You've done three. Oh, it looks look like it. Corpse has said in the chat that he's going to go into work tomorrow with an eye patch and a bandana. He Good doesn't lad. think anyone will care. That's a great idea, but I think also for our final episode of this, not this game, but the entire run, we should probably dress up as uh, characters from Metal Gear Solid. What do you reckon? I'd be up for that. Oh shit, shit, shit. It doesn't matter for me. <laughs> you I already are dressed up, Sam. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't! Help Get your wallet ready. Plant it. Oh, you've got to be. That's your scheduled Metal Gear Solid. That's right. Start shooting. You fucking idiots. Yeah, shoot her off the field. Shoot the. Shoot the. Kind of stuff on the floor of the field. Right. Rolling simulator. I would say your best bet now is probably to try and go upstairs. Help! Oh, bollocks. I only saw you got a shotgun about a second before he shot me. Hey, you might as well change out of this outfit and fight back a bit. Yeah, good call. Put your uh, sneaking suit back on, it'll reduce the damage you take from shotguns. And you can actually Are get you your lovely machine. to kill people here? Well, if it means him not dying, then yeah, he's just running away from a bloke and getting shot in the back by a shotgun at the moment. It doesn't seem like the best tactic to employ. <laughs> right in the balls. Gunshot wound in the balls. Oh. Uh, that's, that's why he's so hard. He just can take a shotgun to the balls like it's nothing. Tell you what, this is, doesn't have set the pace, doesn't it, when you go into the menus? Yeah, I tell you what, I, I'm glad they removed it because even though it's a cool little gimmick, it slows everything down so much. The Octo Camo was the best thing they ever did in these games. Yeah, the Octo Camo is really good. Um, yeah, I don't really know where there is to hide in this room. So no. I just need to evade and then maybe... Put your, out, your disguise back on once you're out of sight. So if you put your disguise <laughs> back on now, 
mean, it might be that stupid that it might work. Excuse me, we're looking for a guy with an eye patch. Plus, I like the idea that Snake hung oh. off the ledge and then changed yeah, his outfit as he was as he was hanging there. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking right. Now that's legendary. <laughs> or dare I say, the cardboard the box, the cardboard box in the corner. No, they, they, they just looked at me and I haven't been caught, so. That's queuing myself up. Good, good call there, Sam. Uh, right. What I've, doing? Been, uh, I've been alerted in that room before. It just came. You know when someone just comes back to you, and you're like, yeah, uh, yeah. Quickly put the other uniform back on and just disguise yourself. It's a bit like Hitman. If you go away from them, you could you, you disguise works again if you're out of like their eyesight or whatever. Ah, bollocks. Me goat. Dead. It's gone right mm. off. Just, just threw a goat on the floor. Don't care, do they? People around me, I mean. They think this is the strangest guy ever. He's walking in wearing an eye patch, throwing bits of goat flesh all over the fucking place. <laughs> Got off goat flesh, I might add. Oh, fuck off. They're fucking everywhere. I have a recollection of when I played this of... Um, I tried to track everybody in this room because I got annoyed of having to wait for the engineers to get out of my way. So I found a band, I think that's what I used the top bit, and just tracked everybody, and then uh, went down and put all the bombs on. You only got one left to do after that. Yeah, yeah it's just... Yeah, there's one in the corner. He was just about to do it when he got caught with one. Ninja skills, that, and I don't even know where the guy was who saw me either. Yeah, there's a guy there. No, it's alright, he doesn't, they don't care. It's, it's an engineer that, that's going right. to do the bad business. Uh. Ha <laughs> ha! Now we're going into the uh, Volgin encounter. So yeah, a good thing to do in this fight is to not uh, shoot him uh, because he can. It makes the gunpowder in your gun explode with his stupid lightning powers. So it is good to just try and throw him. So you know, if you run up to someone and you press circle and hold it. Whilst moving, you'll do a throw to the ground. You can do that, then kick him a couple of times. What the That's hell my is... advice. What's all that about? Oh, it's to do with his losing his eye. Watch. He lost his eye to a butterfly. That's plastic explosives. <laughs> See, he's still got it. He's still got it. Gotcha this the eye time. of the tiger. <laughs> was the tiger? <laughs> eye of the butterfly doesn't quite have the same <laughs> ring to it. It's the eye of the butterfly. It's not ginger corpse. It's um, it's plastic explosive that he was given given to. Him. <laughs> well, he had a nice ginger? heart. Why like that? Look a bit like I ginger. I finished planting the seeds. Like I'm on ginger. my way out now. Hurry, Snake. <laughs> like, is Evo taking care of the escape ginger. route? Ginger. Yeah. Are you sure? He's like, yeah, exactly. I was just gonna do that. All right then. Well, hurry up and get out of there. Ah, oh, because he's got no death perception. Whenever he chops up vegetables, he slices his fingers off. <laughs> Stab someone off. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <coughs> so, uh, obviously, changed out of this outfit as soon as the fight starts as well. Oh, here she comes again! I'll tell you what, the game is a lot easier, isn't it, if you get the right uniforms and you use them in the right places? Why'd you come back? Most definitely. Because I don't think I did that when I uh, played the original. <laughs> Stop trying to hit her. He needs to, yeah, just just run away when he sees her. <laughs> <laughs> he just consistently fucks him up. Yeah. But it's the fact that she's not even trying. Favorite. I won. I just, I did it. I did it just before. <laughs> but not always important. Some of them are just for like stylistic stuff. But is this I the? I was talking to someone at work today. He also agreed that um, Ocelot in this is a complete douchebag. Is he like, mean this game in particular to... or the whole series? No, this, this one in particular. He's like they've upped the douchebaggery with this one. Yeah, they have. Yeah. The, all of the enemies, though, apart from the boss, are dickheads in this. To be fair, all the enemies in all the Metal Gear Solid are dickheads, because to be I, fair, the no. original uh, 
bad guys in Metal Gear Solid One were dickheads as well. That, well, that Raven's a dickhead. Raven's a dickhead, and um, Snake Wolf's like all right. Oh, she's all right. I go in semantics over dickishness. <laughs> Do we have criteria for dickheadness now? Well, also, that was one of them. Was found snooping around my underground vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The philosopher's legacy. Uh, this thing that you really want, I'm going to put it right next to you so you can get it off me somehow. <laughs> then I'm going to kill you. Put it this in a safe. Oh, it contains, contains all the information yeah. regarding the legacy. Is that how long I've been playing? You might say that that's how long you've got. That's how long the timers are on the explosives. It was the smell that gave her away. No, yeah. not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She Special type it. of petrol. <laughs> to think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a two-stroke. We found no. this radio along with her too. I can't wait to fuck Volgan up. I can't wait to fuck him up. It would win between Volgan and Cole McGrath. It almost Cole McGrath. pains me to have to kill it's Cole her. McGrath. Sorry, he's the lightning guy. Uh, yeah. I was just trying to think. Um, yeah, probably Cole McGrath. Yeah, he would, he would. <laughs> Especially if it's like end of the game Cole McGrath with the basically yes, um, someone proper like light up guy. One. What about Raiden from Mortal Kombat as well? Raiden again. Pet. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's not, he's not anything, he, he takes advantage of people. Isn't that That's his right? problem. Who, Volgan, you mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Raiden is a genuine god, anyway. <laughs> yeah, he is, yeah, he's totally you have god. something to say to me. Yeah, he'd probably win out of all of them, you know, god beats Go to most hell. things. <laughs> oh, you can all see our new bot as well. We got a bot this week. Spamming you every 60 minutes with the... You dirty whore. Social I've information. enough kisses from you. Right of the ovaries. <laughs> I should have known. So What's that guy who was there? Oh yes, the Steve, you weren't there the last time. We uh, we fought the Just last member like of the, the Cobra KGB unit. He's called the Sorrow. So he is the boss's so husband, deadly. and they were on opposite sides. And uh, the US sent her to kill him, and she Very did. Well. And that uh, you basically fought his ghost Explain in his river. He's a ghost. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, of course. You wait, they, sort, they sort of play it like when you wake up from the experience, they sure the it's real or not. War, the most but you basically see America, all the people you've China, killed and the in the Soviet game and they all walk towards you. Secret pack. <laughs> the pack is a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. To secure victory in the war, the three countries pool their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations. While we're waiting. Search. Oh, hello, hello, Tristan Hill. How are you doing? Um, while we're waiting, uh, anyone watching, is the stream okay? Is it is it lagging? Um, no, I'm not you. Anyone watching on the stream? Our our viewers, let us know if there's any issues because um, we 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 don't normally stream the gameplay because there's a lot of stuff going on on my computer. So after the war was won, the three countries were to divide the philosopher's legacy amongst themselves. This explains why the United States and for those interested, we're playing the HD remake on the PS3 the at the moment. In Germany, as soon as the war We've got one more game on this disc. But the, our great uh, motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rivals. We possess yeah, enormous the, wealth, the, the most advanced technology, technology overwhelming next. power, assets fitting of our great country. <laughs> Which I'm guessing yeah. you probably remember a bit My better because it's one of the in charge I know I managing the philosopher. I've played the intro to it a fair few times as well on different. Ha I've actually war war played through that one on the hardest setting and completed it. Um, I haven't got the five-hour finished, you know, complete. You can get like uber big boss mode or something. That's the only way to get a platinum achievement is complete it in five hours without any kills, without any. Um, detections are on the hardest set, on European Extreme or whatever it is. It's absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. mental. A record of all those That's a big boss rank. I've never, ever even attempted that shit. No, I wouldn't. I'll, I'll just death, get frustrated with myself if I had to keep. Yeah. 
be Thanks, Tristan. By the way. With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Grozny. Yeah, if you come here expecting Granite's stealth, research then facility. you might want to go to a different stream. The, the stealth portions of this game are largely Granite finished with now. We're yeah. pretty results. much in. There's a little bit of sneaking later, actually, Chris, later on. But we're basically in big uh, boss fight territory now. And cutscene territory. My position uh, in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. If you skip the cutscenes, do you do you have more time to kill Volgin? I used it to contact the boss and no. suggested that she defect. Oh. The boss was conniving so. enough to see things my way. The world was once one. Do apologize if you can hear that ice Conflict cream between the philosophers. I can't. Has torn it in two. Go get some ice cream in February. The, we will use the legacy to cold. heal that rift. I had a lemonade I, um, ice pop again. last night. Did you? Mm. To do this, we need to an unstoppable. It wasn't an ice pop. It was a with enough power to bring order full to ice world. thing. Lolly. That's it. That trump card was to be the Shago Hod and the Cobra unit. The end looks like such a jovial old man, doesn't he? Yeah. Styled after Santa. Santa. Yeah. I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shago Hod and the Legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. There is something Boss, you can do, though. Continue to monologue. Yeah. Meryl Streep. That's who she reminds me of a little bit. Meryl Streep? A little bit. She's got a kind of similar kind of face to her. Take Meryl Streep's care. eyes are way too close together. She looks yeah, like take... someone's held a mirror up to her face. Take that, Meryl Streep. You wouldn't Streep. have come yeah. back in here. How dare you reasons. have eyes there. <laughs> the secret has been stolen. <laughs> <laughs> he must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. <coughs> I'll just uh, if Meryl Streep was well. maybe, maybe 15, 20 years younger, she probably be, wouldn't be a bad choice to play her if they made a movie. She's probably a bit too old for it now, unless they recast her as an older woman. It said they need Daryl Hannah for uh, for Eva as well. Yeah. Again, well, she's I probably a bit too old for it. Thought though, that Metal Gear Solid was supposed to be realistic. <laughs> Who said <What>? that? <coughs> Marty McFly in chat. Uh, where the hell did he get that idea? Have from? you have you not seen have you not played Metal Gear Solid, Marty? Is uh... but of course. This is Metal Gear Solid Three as well, so we've had we've had many hours of this ridiculousness. What I, what I will say is interesting about that is that Metal Gear Solid, in some regards. And I know that the story and a load of the stuff in it is ridiculous. But in terms of some of the, the military stuff that they do and the, um, like the, the mocap stuff that they did, in terms of promoting realism in games, they have to some degree helped that. I know it's not a realistic game by any stretch of the imagination, but the way that the soldiers moved in two and stuff and the unit sort of stuff that they did. And I'm saying this over no the most ridiculous shit, shit no ever, yes. by the way. That's not escaped my. Like, Can we, but. So, I've said this every stream, I'm going to say it again. Eva drove up this guy's face um, on a motorbike earlier on in the in the game, so that's how realistic this. Um, and she she did a little backflip and then landed on her wheels and there's then drove. Ghosts off. in the background. <laughs> there's that as well. And every single en every single enemy has a a superpower of some sort, like an individual trait. They're not all superpowers, are they? No, they're just you stand right there and shit. watch. Got and, it. Um, Please, Colonel. Oh, let me silence. Go. Slot was juggling guns. Yeah, he likes juggling guns in this game. Yeah. He's such juggling a balance. Juggling guns is a good way to shoot yourself. Huh? Huh? Ah, oh, is this the double cross coming? Probably. <laughs> That's introducing one of the boss mechanics. Yeah. I hate this boss fight. Only because this is the only place I've got to. I haven't yet got past Volgin in this game. Could be a long night. Sorry for the delay. Well, I'm on normal, aren't I? So I was on hard last time I tried to do it. And you've not really struggled getting to the bosses in this game. I think what happened when I played it is I played it and then um, 
Yeah, this is the Volgin fight, isn't it? Jesus. I thought it was Shagahad first. first. No, no, Shagahad. it's Volgin. Then when Vol you beat him up and then Volgin goes, uh, uh, and then gets to the Shagahad, you know, like, like a bad guy. This is a once yeah. in a <coughs> The streams went a bit crap. Let's make it yeah, a yeah. good one. Yeah. This is a, I should say that if you, if you get stuck and you, uh, and you do things, what, if you ask it for help, I'm only getting like two frames a second at the moment, so I might not be able to use it. You on fire? Apparently. Yeah. He like burns his clothes off and shows his armor and bullet thing that he's got on. What a dick. What a dick. He's wearing a computer. Uh, when this fight starts, I've got a good little thing you can do. Isn't Ocelot helping you in this fight as well? Um. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> What's that? You just threw a snake. Uh, basically, knife and a gun. No, fight. don't do that, you bastard! I hate him! I hate him! You gotta see that gesture a few more times before the end of this game. At least twice more. Often. And we also know we're not gonna kill Ocelot as well, which is the annoying thing. Yep. Right, so the main the main idea of this fight then is uh, try and get him with a hand to hand takedown. Now quickly go into your item selection before you do anything else and put on the right off fast. Because he'll go <gasps> right off and then you can run up to him and start decking him because he'll be a bit thrown off his game for a second. And I also, never knew that. Change out. You fall for that, you're just putting a mask on. <laughs> One of his eyes is closed. <laughs> Put That's the cool. uh, sneaking suit back on again because it reduces the damage that you take in combat. When you're in boss fight mode, you should be wearing that sneaking suit because it protects you. Basically riding now. So go up to him and do hand-to-hand, uh, -hand. so obviously, as I was saying before, if, you work, if, you, if you're moving and you press circle at the same time, Is it really you'll you? throw him on the ground. Alright. I could barely see what's going on at all. I've forgotten that, what, anything that I need. Mean. Oh, bellend. Yeah, one thing I can tell you is that when he's like electrified and he's glowing, you can't touch him, so you have to just let him do his thing. He's a bit dim, isn't he? Die. Die. Bastard. Shot wounds in my feet. I think if you poured water on him, corpse, then you probably get electrocuted. Because I think I, I think it's fair to say that the electricity doesn't seem to affect him. Right, Sam. So what what's the general tactic then? Sorry. Um, like I say, you try and get up to him, and like you've not done this move much in the game. But as if you're moving towards somebody, as in if you run towards someone, and as you're moving, you press circle near him. Mm. Snake will do a grab and throw them to the ground. Right. So you're not you're not punching him; you try to throw him to the ground. Right. And when okay. he's on the ground, you can shoot him a couple of times with your tranquilizer, or just kick him. Let's make sure <laughs> I've got. Um, that's the best advice. I mean. I'm not sure if the uh, if the handkerchief actually works in this fight as well, possibly, because it's got, um, you know, chloroform on it or whatever it's got on it. Fucking hell. Aren't you supposed to let him punch stuff? So he, like, if he punches me here... Um, I don't think so, mate. I thought he got electrified or something when you or lost his electric power or something. So, later on in the fight, when you're getting down to halfway, he'll like... Fucking he'll, um, stop electrifying yourself, you bastard! Up. 
wrong button again. I'm such a dick. Right, so he only I can only do that when he's discharged himself then. Yeah. You have to try and get close to him when he's doing that and getting down. Fucking I'm not pressing the wrong button, I'm just pressing the bloody it at the wrong time. I really can't tell what's going on very well on the screen. Me neither. I fucking hate the timing in this game, I really do. Why does Ocelot have a, a health bar? You can attack him if you want, but it's, uh, if you kill Where him... Where is he? He's still high up, isn't he? Stood up, stood, up, stood up on like a bridge above you. If you kill him, it gets time paradox, so... You can kill him, but it, it's a game over if you do. <laughs> He's not hindering you in this fight. In fact, he actually helps you a bit. I think if uh, certain points, if Volgin's doing something, he'll actually attack Volgin or something. Got him! That fucking last. Uh, then give then if you do you okay, go. I like it. What happens in two minutes by the way? Uh, everything blows uh, up. Yeah. Oh dear. Ah, oh, fuck you. So is this guy basically committing suicide? You are, sorry? <coughs> is this guy, Volgan, basically committing suicide? No. No. Uh, well, he's stayed to fight in a place that's about to blow up. Does he know it's going to blow up, though? No, they don't. No one knows. No, they don't know. They don't know that you planted the explosives there. Right, I so can't... can't see the cost. Uh, I can regenerate health if I've got some life medicine, actually, can't I? Yeah, yeah. I thought you picked one up before. I did, yeah. Just fucking run around in a cardboard box for the entire game. Shit off! This is why I hate this. This is why I hate this fight. <laughs> you love it. Nice. Ooh! More like it. You can, you can hit him once, brilliant. Twat. I took quite a bit of health off him then. Fucking mechanics in this game are shit. yourself every two seconds when you get hurt best and managing your stamina which is all right I suppose Boom. he's about to get Raj now isn't he half oh Just, just not fair, is he? Just doesn't play fair. 
Do you hear me? I said shoot him! Sorry, Colonel. I'm afraid I can't do that. What do you Hit mean him. you can't? I made a promise to the boss. Silence! Gestures. I am your commanding officer. Yeah. Ha! They just shot the electricity. <laughs> he was. I don't know what. He, he just shot the electricity. Shot the that he... of electricity in midair. Are you questioning my authority? I think it's fair to say that he is. I think I saw this bit before. I think it's the second half I haven't done of this fight. It said 60 seconds, but they've already cut fight seems to be like going on for way more Vol than that. Vol'jin? Emergency. Explosives have been detected. All non-EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. <clears throat> Ocelot, find those bombs! I really need to do urinate. Move it. Huh. Gesture again, you reckon? <laughs> One more time. Yeah. <laughs> Such a dick. <laughs> Such a dick. After this game, you don't have to worry about him. Until we play Phantom Pain. He's in Battle Gear Solid 4 as well. Is he? Yeah, Liquid Ocelot, man. Oh shit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what's he doing? <laughs> I've got 20 seconds to kill him. Oh, what? It's like 10 seconds. <laughs> Probably not gonna work then, is it? No. This is a death coming up. You might be right. I wanna go and have a wee. I'll be back very briefly. You entertain the crowd. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, now we get to see the lovely time paradox message appear on screen. That's the first time I've heard the snake thing in this game. Like, yeah, because. Uh, snake! Not left the screen on for long enough. It does it all the time, but you have to just let it play out a bit. Right. So where will he go back to now? Uh, it'll be the beginning of this fight. He, he spent a lot of time at the beginning just running around and not getting him, but now that he knows what he's doing, he should hopefully just be able to take him down this time. Fair enough. Time paradox. It would help if I could see what was going on a bit better. Yeah, it's pretty jerky, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah. And the sound's incredibly loud, so whenever someone's speaking, I can't hear them over the game. Oh. It's fine. Yeah. Hmm. So there's still a fair bit to go, is there, then? There's... I'll just tell you what's happening. So you've got this fight, then there's a chase scene where you get chased by the Shagavard through a couple of areas on a bike and you have to shoot at it. Uh, and then you've got to fight the Shago hard and that has like two forms. Um, and then... Uh, then there's another there's another little chase bit. And there's a sneaking bit when Eva gets injured during one of the chases and you've got to sneak her around a few guards and then there's a fight with the boss and then the end. That's the end of the game. Once you defeat oh, yeah. the boss. There's a little tiny little bit with Ocelot being a bell end right at the very end, but basically the end. when you fight the boss it's the end of the game. Although I think the boss the end fight with the boss could be quite frustrating as Ah sorry about that. That was a mighty piss. Thanks for sharing that with us. No problem. Right. Yes, I've incremented just... the death counter, but it's taken a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just saying, to, uh, as you were otherwise engaged, um, hopefully now that you've sort of got a bit of a handle on what you're doing, you might, you're probably able to take him this time, hopefully. We'll see. I said I struggled. I, did, um, I tried him a lot of times last time.
But that time when you were fighting him, you started to get rid of him, but you just ran out of time. That's a better start than the last time. Ah! Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> fucking hell, that took me by surprise! I actually genuinely got, like, shocked then. I didn't like it that you What's came up with him so quickly. As long as he doesn't use them bullets like that. That didn't take eight minutes that time. Yeah, you skipped the cutscene this time, I think, eh? Now I need to figure out how to uh, avoid his bullets this time, because he does. He tends to do a lot um, more of them, doesn't he? Um, I think if you if you crouch down as he's doing it, I think that might help. There's that one that he does where he sort of fires them out in all directions at once. That one, I think you have to crouch underneath it or lie down. He does like a little tell before he's about to do it, but I can't really see it. That one, but it didn't work. You know, bleeding like fuck. You are bleeding like stuck pig. Uh, I think once you've done the initial bit where you put the mask on, you don't need to wear it unless you want to wear it for a laugh. It only it only helps you at the beginning when he sort of stops and goes, "Oh, right, there's, go there's not not really benefit to taking it off, though, is there?" <laughs> no, other than it just looks a bit silly. If you take it off, you can put it back on again. So, oh, you're back. I think that'll be a bit daft, wouldn't it? Fucking hell! USA. Yeah, take that, Russia. What shall I wear? What shall I wear? They can show you wear something. Soviet Union. He'll be like, "Ah, oh, you're on my side." You I never think know. Actually, there is like a there is like a Soviet outfit that you can get off him. I think, and then if you wear it in New <laughs> Game Plus, I think it does affect. Like he does the same thing where he like won't hit you or something. Come on, mate. There must be a way to avoid the bullets. Well, you're only crouching. I think I meant to say lie down. Get I'll down low. You. I did say lie down at some point in that last conversation. Before. Nice. That doesn't work though. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <sighs> he loves shooting you in the foot for some reason. Yeah. But we have had broken femurs and stuff, haven't we? So it's not exactly realistic. I think it's just random, isn't it? I don't know. All the times he shot you, Kane, you fuck. Shit, man. Shit! Thought I'd get in there before he, uh... Yeah, that's the, that's the challenge. You've got to try and... Because this is one of the time where you've got to try and get him, but... Yeah. Apologies for the death count and not opening, but I can't eat.
Oh! I don't think you've used your life medicine in this game. I didn't hear any of that, sorry. Yeah. I don't think you've used your life medicine in this go, have you? Oh, good call. You equip rations and then they keep you alive like in the first game. No? No. no. Only life medicine. Oh! Oh, bollocks. Ah. What? So got him then as well. I assume you guys can't see anything now. Uh, just the um, frame rates drop very low and the resolution's very poor. Gotta love Skype, haven't you? <laughs> oh, throwing up. Nice. Oh, bollocks off! Oh, I ate him. Damn. Nearly. So, so nearly. Chris, just before, just before you carry on, is there a way for you to turn the volume down for us a little bit at the game? You need it's to like, see music. Yeah, it's just whenever I'm trying to talk to you, I'm getting deafened by the, the music and everything. Give me a second. I need to turn it slightly down on me as well. So Skype out. Console to Skype. Alright, I'll we'll try that and if it's uh if it's not good enough, tough. Okie dokie. Uh, the death count is completely disappeared now. Have you updated the text file? I've updated, well, weird stuff happens. I just have to reinstall Drive while we're playing, but... You're awful. You're the worst kind of person. The file's still there. Let's have a look before... Uh... Sorry about this, guys. Technical problems. Not my problem for once as well. <clears throat> uh You've also got an M63 machine gun with like 500 bullets for it. Why don't you shoot him with that? It's called Death Counter 1. That's why it's not picking it up. It's not mine. There you go, it's there now. Idiot. Um, sorry, say that again, Sam. That uh, M63 machine gun, isn't that a better machine gun to shoot him with when he's on the floor? Yeah, well, that's and what I, I was using that second time round this time. Alright. Right, he does the same every time then if you get him before. Here it comes. Okay, can't get him then either. 
What's he doing? Doesn't do much damage. She is us a lot. Look out, she's fighting you. Oh shit! Oh, I figured out how to sort him out there. How to avoid those bullets. Just jump past sort him. him. out. Sort him out. Dick. Take the shit out of it. I don't care what he is. He doesn't even have an axe, he just has a bad guy axe. Oh. Oh. Generates a lot quicker this time round. <laughs> Lost my flow then. What a bastard! Ah! Two more, I reckon. Come on, Dickwad. Come on, Chris. Yes. Fuck you. Fuck you. Put you down. That's the first time I've ever killed him. <laughs> Still can't really tell from the string. Under pressure. Yeah, sorry guys, can't do anything about that. Skype. Watch the stream.
I know it's like two minutes behind, but it's the only way you can watch a decent copy of it. American. <laughs> the next section actually uh, plays into your strengths as well, Chris. This is basically just shoot the shit out of everyone you think. <laughs> it's not my strengths, it's just what I'm choosing to do in this uh, stream. Totally a choice. She's alright now. Has to be a motorcycle shooting at section, doesn't there? In a Metal Gear Solid game. Step on it. it sounds weird seeing Raiden's face and his voice. I mean, it changes mask. Oh, she's gonna tit out again. to give to someone on fire? The boss let me go. The boss? Why? <laughs> I'll tell you later. Right if you're on fire, just be like, just give up, escape. mate. <laughs> Why don't you just lay down and die, yeah? <laughs> Why don't you just lie down over there on fire? The boss is already at the lake. Huh? She's at the lake. She's waiting for you there. Hmm. Waiting for me. So, there isn't a Shagahod moment. Or is there? Must be. There's a load of Shagahod. Mate, right. you're gonna get so Shagahodded. <laughs> I was just gonna no say. <laughs> you're gonna get shagged in the hod. <laughs> I don't want you to fight her. I love you both. But I. I've come to realize that there's a special relationship between us. <laughs> that involves breaking each other's bones. <laughs> <laughs> Usually your own. Something yeah. that goes beyond a man and a woman. What? I envy you. Really, I do. But I guess oh, I why just is she basing this on? It. Every Talk time she's a page, she's kicked the shit out of him. <laughs> when she a man loves a woman! <laughs> he kicks the he shit out, out of her. <laughs> Don't ever sing on the stream again. Okay. There. She needs to put her tits away now then. I said it. Now that she's friend zoned you. Ready to go? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't he friend zoned her really? Okay. Yeah. Just try to get it. No, he was just playing half again. Friend zoned. Oh, it walks now, does it? I thought it was just a tank that. Oh, it does the Metal Gear str scream though, I like that. I can't believe I was this close to the end and I didn't complete it. Been annoying me that. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, love. Oh my god. The, the, the controls on this are terrible. What's that? 
What the? Tell you what I love, first person in uh, on consoles. She's the to considering she was awesome at driving a bike, she's pretty shit at the moment. What's she doing? Is she not used to a sidecar? I think she's waiting for me to kill people. She has been kicked in the ovaries by a uh, lightning man as well. That's gonna That's impact the driving. This is a pretty rubbish motorcycle chase. I'm not feeling any tension. She made a pig's ear of that, didn't she? <laughs> she just went round the houses. Can you not see it at all? Is it totally dead? This is why you need to sort the web web RT stuff out. Oh, he's trying to stop them now. Oh. He's just put some ca on his revolver. He's just put a a, st a barrel on it to stop. Sorry. So he can shoot long longer distances or more accurately or something probably. I can ride a motorbike now as well. Is he going to ride a motorbike with purpose? <laughs> you don't do that on a motorbike. Just try to nudge her off the road. I'm not sure what just happened with Ocelot. Oh, 
All right, there we go. I don't think there's any danger here at all, you know. Oh. Uh, no, it's her. Oh no, yeah, that is him, sorry. <laughs> Why are you doing that? It's the same same sound as well each time. They haven't done any variations on it. <sighs> oh, he goes. Obviously, he's going to run over the um, run over the soldiers some some somewhere, destroy his own people, as all good antagonists do. Here we go. There we go. Shot them all. Yeah, he's, uh, he's just turned the turbo boosters on. That's a good point, actually, Tom, so I'm not sure why it was wrong. Looks cool. I don't know why I didn't use the AK earlier. It's much easier to aim with it. I'll take that back. Fuck's sake. She was about a metre away from driving into whatever she's coming up to now. Yeah, that thing. We're about a metre away from it. Oh, I thought that was our destination. Let me know. Where is he? Oh, he's willing down a barrel. Whatever he likes to do. Bloody noise. <laughs> 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 
He's just driving over everything. I don't actually need to shoot anyone. Can I kill him now? Can I shoot him? Is there any point? There's no... There's no... The Shoot the missiles though. Yeah, I, I'm not feeling any kind of tension at this end bit, I have to be honest with you. It's a bit of an honor scroller, isn't it? Yeah, there's there's no danger apart from those missiles then. I think if you maybe stood still for ages and didn't shoot anybody, maybe you might die, but... How's the sound, by the way, guys? Can you hear me? Is it really loud? Stuff? We've only got one chance. We'll lure him over towards the. You can't say anything. When the shadow hot is on the bridge, anything. shoot the explosives. Oh. The bomb is planted on the strut of the bridge. Well, let me just. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Any better? Yeah. Screen's black at the moment, anyway. We might need you to audio describe it. We might need to what? We might need you to audio describe it. Um. Shagohad is approaching bridge. Volgin is nutting side of Shagohad. He was just nutting the side of it like that while he was inside it. Henchman in tow. Oh, video's back. Snake and Eva have now reached the other side of the bridge. Snake has got a sniper rifle. He's taking it. aim at the explosives, I assume. Oh, hello. There we go. Done. Too early. What? Oh, for fuck's uh, sake. Wait get on it, you did. <laughs> she just said shoot them both. I know. I, I made the mistake once. I'm not going to do it twice. Keep your it's here. Did I get it? That was underwhelming. Okay. <laughs> oh god, poly explosions. Back to the old Quake 2 days. To the particles. Oh no, he's lost his revolver. Now he's just Ocelot. <laughs> we did it! He's just a miserable cat.
Is it? Look. Oh. Is that only half of it? Yeah, that's only half of it, isn't it? It looks like it's been cut in half or something. It is good music though, isn't it? Yeah, very handsome. Ooh! Ooh! Got oh. full on snog then from her. I thought you friends on you. For luck. Because now it's those testosterone squirting around. What? I don't know. Yeah. I think it's just suiciding us into it. Um, didn't I have a RPG a second ago? Alright, no, I blatantly don't have an RPG even though I had one in the cutscene. With Sam's help, but I'm presuming he's died. Yeah, he's, uh, he's still he's still on, but he just can't. He's, Sam's terrible. Um, oh, there it is. The equipped my sniper rifle instead of the RPG. <laughs> All right, there's nothing. Ah! Uh -huh. Uh, shooting in the back. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm doing that now. PlayStation can't cope with it. Too many particles on the screen. Oh god, the sounds going really weird as well now. It's alright, it's just on Skype. It's probably Sam's connection that's buggered up the, um, the Skype thing. Come on, Eva, do some driving. Nearly there, guys. There we go. Done. I'd be excited if I knew what was happening. <sighs> I've just killed the Shagahod. <laughs> oh. I, I think. Fight Volgan now. Who? I think you fight the fight Volgan. Again? 
Yeah, Did we beat he gets him? out. No. I can't be asked with that twat again. Uh, use your sniper rifle. Shoot him in the head. Oh, he's not going to control the Shagahod by standing on... He just punched into the top of the Shagahod and he's just pulled out all of the wiring and he's now, I think, going to control it by standing on top of the Shagahod. Yeah, he is. Ah, oh, it's still cut scenes in it. Close. Come on, you blockhead. Huh? Blockhead. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to. I just want to point out that he's controlling it by dragging, dragging the wiring around <laughs> like a horse. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's dead easy, this. For fuck's sake. Oh, hang on. I imagine. Yeah, there we go. Shoot the wheels first, then I shoot him in the head. Okay. Fuck off. Oh, I can move. I thought I was stuck in place. <laughs> um. Fuck off. Can't move when you got the sniper rifle equipped. Are you, are you actually hitting him in the head? I'm trying. Have a death going coming on soon. Oh, Sam's screwed entirely, isn't he? Yeah, he's out. And that means that all this overlay stuff's going to break as well. Oh, Skype, why are you so shit?
Hopefully the uh, video's a lot better now. Let's see what's going on. I was actually starting to do it. Yeah, that's much better. I think it was uh, Sam before the episode that it was. I'm bored of this guy now. <laughs> uh, cure. What? <laughs> Stick a knife in my burn. Why did I do that? Bandage. There we go. To work at all that. Sorry that nobody can see anybody on the uh, chat anymore, but we've lost someone from the call. Hi! It's what, sorry? I mean, having a very specific part of the screen, so I'm, I'm still, you can still see me. <sighs> right. What have you done? That was not going to be it. Oh, right in my face. Snake is so slow. Thank yes! God that is over with. Yeah, sorry everybody for uh <laughs> I'm I'm trying to move you but it's not gonna work. <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's not like being a <laughs> I just started flipping around randomly. <laughs> At least you can see most of Steve anyway. Oh my god, what have I done there? <laughs> Jesus Christ! There you go, that'll do. Roughly correct. I'll leave Steve because you can just about see him. <laughs> I think it was all his bullets that are in him. I don't. I don't even know what he is. I've got to be honest. That's the question: What would happen if he got water on him? Hmm. So ten deaths so far. I'm not sure if there's another boss fight though. There is, you're gonna fight the boss now, aren't you? Yeah, of course. That might be for another time though, do you reckon? What do you think? Well it's gonna be a big long ending scene as well. Oh yeah, it? yeah. Let's let's save the, the final boss fight. Wait, let's get to 
the next bit after this cutscene and we'll f finish. I can see Steve's pissed off anyway. That's not pissed off, I just can't... It's intermittent, I can see stuff and then it disappears forever. It comes back for a little bit. Yeah, stop snogging. No time for this Get a room. So, uh, is she... Is, just up ahead. is she I, just dicking him around now? I don't know, she'll probably s turn on him in the end. There's got to be like an actual save coming up, you know, a, a forced save. It's probably going to be here, isn't it? Can I save now, do you reckon? Yeah. Don't think I can. Are oh! You going to save? Yes, I can. Hopefully that won't start me back at the beginning of the Volgin fight or something. Right, that'll do. There's been enough enough messing about and enough stuff broken <laughs> for today. I think. Aye. We're nearly there then, and then it's Metal Gear Solid 4? Yes. Cool. Right, hang on. Actually, I'll just quit out. Right, so yes, thank you everyone for watching. Um, as per always, you can follow us on YouTube. That's where we'll upload every, uh, this to, I believe, actually. Yes, uh, today we did... Um, uh, part 7 has been released on, on YouTube. So, um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you later. See you later. Bye. See you on Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday, Wednesday 7th. Sorry, heads ma mashed after trying to figure out all kinds of stuff. Right, yes, so we'll see you mm -hmm. later. <laughs>